Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel The Light of Grace and this is Grace. It's time for another money job life reading and this will be for January it's done 2022. Yay, happy new year to all of you guys. Happy new year. I'm really wishing you all the best for this year that financial and emotional abundance will get you will get to you. Happiness, peace, fun. Uh what else? Ah uh, beautiful possibilities right right yes yes i am also giving you my big hug mm, that's my big hug there so uh before i start the reading i'm gonna say a few things number one i want to say thank you to my devoted and you subscriber i uh, thank you thank you so much i'm giving you also big hug big hug and to my new viewers, I'm hoping that there is something here that can guide you and assist you in your soul journey. And if it does, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new messages that I will have for you. This is going to be a general reading. It might resonate and it might not resonate with you. I have four stacks here that it might not all resonate with you. Maybe you might resonate with one or two stacks, which is fine. Um, but I would suggest for you to listen to the reading all the way to the end because there are probably more information that you need to know on the other stacks. Um, this is going to be an additional information that you're going to need to know for January 2022. Um, what else I'm going to say? Oh, the other thing is that I have... Uh, another portion from this reading that's why it's going to be a long reading and obviously you could see i have tons of cards in here not really tons just exaggeration um i have some cards in this right side of mine this will be the section this is going to be the portion where i will be um giving you a little bit of a reading of what's coming to you for the year 2022 what are the possible um blessings and situations and stuff that you need to know for 2022 which is gonna be good hopefully <laughs> so listen to that one i would suggest i would advise you to do so okay let's go start let's move this on the side let's start with the money reading what's coming your way you have the transformation you're responding to it with the the world to major arcana Influencing factor, page of pentacles in reverse, the ace of wands in reverse. Six of swords. Advice from the divine and the universe. You have the breathe, number 29, 2 plus 9, 11. This is uh, 16, 6 plus 1, 7, the spiritual number. And this is uh, 21, 2 plus 1, 3, strong foundation, collaboration. And the last card will be the have faith in your dreams. Okay, so these are two major arcanas. And what I feel that um let's talk about these two first before i talk about the transformation in the world for a while you've been trying to manifest abundance you're trying to manifest good luck when when it comes to your finance or even just to get started you can't even ground that stability you you've been trying you've been trying you can't and you're losing hope you're losing faith about this thinking that it's not going to ever change it's not ever going to happen and this situation that you're going through is a cycle that you've still been dealing with and it seems like you've been sitting on it for a while you get stressed out you get overwhelmed it affects your emotions quite um much quite pretty much quite <laughs> for, some, for a moment i got blank there so it, it affects you you probably got get upset get sad get get uh, depressed or something like that but i have this six of swords in 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 a pride 
and I have the world in transformation. So what I'm, I'm going to read it two ways. Okay, two ways. So let's talk about the transformation coming in. Okay, this is a significant, significant life experience that's going to be heading your way. And this is something that you have to go through. Okay. This is going to change your money situation. And this could be uh, about releasing stuff that is no longer working for you. Meaning that maybe you're handling your money um, same way for quite a while. And, and you're not really progressing or it's not coming. Your result is not. You're not getting the result that you wanted. Right. So. This transformation coming and letting you know, this is coming from the universe, letting you know that, hey, Scorpio, you need to change the way you handle your money because no matter how much you want to ground this stability, you're not going to be able to ground the stability. You're just going to be stressed out because you are doing the same way that you're doing it. And obviously, you're not getting any progress. So the universe is saying to let go of that and welcome some sort of a new ideas. Okay, change the way you see things, change, change your perspective. And this could vary in a lot of things. Okay, this is about handling money. All right, so now here you are. You are the world. Okay, there is a need for it. Now I'm going to change that cycle. This is the world. I'm changing the cycle. And you are going to do everything you can to change that situation. You have the willingness. Obviously, you're smiling in here. This little girl is smiling. She's welcoming any suggestion. And she has the willingness to change that. And maybe because you're realizing that, yes, I am seeing that it's not working. It's just stressing me out. Right? And then... That kind of helps you to have this six of swords. It's about leaving tumultuous water, heading to some peaceful accord or happy time, a happy situation because you change your perspective. And this is big because it's a major arcana. It's a big transformation that you are bringing in to the table when it comes to handling money and taking care of your money business. Now I'm going to read it the other way. Here you are. You realize that a, a change has to happen. Because like what I said, it's not working out. You're not satisfied with wherever, you, wherever your money is. Okay. Now you have this brilliant, uh, 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 brilliant uh, ideas that's popping in your head. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to manifest this. She has the magic wand in her hand. She's going to manifest it. And you're going to be able to manifest it because you know why? The transformation is here. You are manifesting change. And change is coming to you this January. Is that beautiful? Yes. And the reason why it's there's a change and there's some you know, progress with your money is because you keep your faith. Your faith is there. You believe in your dreams. You believe in your goal. You don't deter from that. And not just that. Having these two major arcanas, having the world energies, I feel that you are balanced. You are in, you are in an energy of... Um, Peace. Or may not be peace because for some of you, you're stressed out. You're leaving tumultuous water. Mentally, it's stressing you out. But I think what you're doing, okay, spirit. You're doing some ways that to, to ground yourself and to stay positive and to not be overwhelmed. Some of you, you are meditating. Some of you, you're praying. So either the meditation or praying or just, going, just walking in the park is really a big help for you to open a door for opportunities, to open a door for ideas to come in and step into your energy. And when 
and because you have this it open you up and that's why you have ideas that finally appearing in your in your energy in your mind and in your heart heart in your heart and then now you see the possibilities of actually turning it around yeah okay okay for some of you yes maybe you're going through like poverty you're going through a uh, hardship when it comes to your money yes and but and for some of you maybe just a little situation in life that you need to change it may not be big so it varies uh, depending on where you are in your situation for scorpio with job reading you have the eight of cups in reverse how are you going to respond to that hermit influencing factor you have the high priestess knight of wands in reverse four of cups in reverse advice guidance and messages from the divine and the universe you have the orphan number five change observer number 49 4 plus 9 13 3 plus 1 4 stability security emotions are running high So what's coming to you this January, Scorpio, when it comes to work, it feels like you're going to be stuck in some sort of an emotional dissatisfaction as a work. You're not, you're feeling dissatisfied. You're not satisfied at all of what you're seeing, what you, or maybe your performance, you're not satisfied, or maybe your coworker's performance is not satisfied for some reason. It could be anything, but the main thing is that you are not satisfied, okay? And you feel stuck with this. You feel stuck you're not satisfied it's affecting you emotionally it's making you depressed it's making you feel like you're alone maybe your co-workers is not helping you maybe they're lazy because the knight of wands is here there's nobody taking action or probably they're acting immature at work okay uh or maybe there's some secret that's been hidden from you and you're trying to investigate and see what that secret is about okay but otherwise, there is an emotion that's really running high and it's affecting you emotionally and you feel depressed and you feel down with that. And that is this eight of cups in here. That is the energy coming for you. It's not really a great time to start to have this for the beginning of the year, but, but it's there. You can't control what's happening at work. It's there. It's there. You know, it's going to pop. It's a matter of how you're going to handle it. Now you feel a little stuck on that. You can't really do much. You can't really uh, um, quit your job just because. No, you can't. Okay. And plus, if you're not the supervisor or the boss, you can't really do much too. So here you are. You have the hermit in. You have the hermit. This is you. Thinking. Okay. You're gonna be in the hermit mode this meaning that you're going to start thinking you're going to go within you're going to seek light you're going to seek answer through this solitude you're going to gain some sort of insight some enlightenment that's going to help you out to get you to get you out from the feeling disappointed with this energy that you're receiving or you're dealing with at work and because of that, it's going to pull you out of that energy. Because with this hermit and this observer, you're really seeking answer. You're really seeking guidance. You're really seeking something that you can use that's going to be on your side. That's going to bring you peace, joy. Uh, this is Archangel... Ragwal and I think he's the one that kind of smooth things. He's the one that kind of sort out the problem. Yeah, that's Archangel Ragwal. I used to call it Raquel. <laughs> so this is, you're still working on it. You're still finding some wisdom, answer, enlightenment to get you out. But it appears to be that maybe you will be because the Four of Cups is in reverse here. All right. Okay. 
you know what i'm getting to for people because this is the energy that's coming your way eight of cups you can't really leave the situation you don't feel inspired to work with the knight of wands in here in reverse you're not feeling inspired Maybe you don't feel like working it too. Maybe you want to copy them and say, oh, if you're not working, I'm not working. Why would I work so hard and then people's going to benefit out of my hard work? Yeah, maybe somebody thinks that way. All right, let's go jump to Scorpio with no job. You have the Queen of Swords, responding energy, renewal in reverse, influencing factors, the chariot, the six of wands. Seven of Wands in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Here and now, number 32, 3 plus 2, 5, transformation change. Community, number 8, spiritual number. and work through your fears so for you scorpio with no job you're feeling crappy going to be saying that because this is the energy you're embodying this is the energy that you it's either you're receiving it from the queen of sword or this is you but you're not feeling good okay you're not you're feeling uh this is judgment okay there's zombie you feel like a zombie okay you can't think straight zombie doesn't think they just follow whatever they you know if they see if a, a live person they're just gonna go to that live person and suck the blood out of them but that's probably a morbid sample just saying okay you're dead of ideas you don't have any more ideas you can't do anything anymore you don't have the energy to do anything anymore okay you start the fear started your the fear is started to set in you started fearing that you're not going to have your abundance you're not going to have stability you're not going to have security in your life you're not and never going to have a job yeah that's probably why the renewal is in reverse It's not like you did not fought for it. You did something. You stand up. You stood up for yourself. You fought for it. You keep telling yourself, "I'm gonna job. I'm gonna find a job. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it." But somehow, you just lost confidence with that too. With the seven of ones in reverse, you, you lost your interest. You lost your fighting energy. But yes, you do have people around you that's helping you and and guiding you but i think it's not enough for you because you're still feeling down not alive but something is gonna happen this queen of sword is not you or maybe i'll read it two ways okay let's talk about the first way which is that you're a downer you're feeling dead no energy no ideas so this person is going to come into your life this best person ha is very smart very experienced very very good with what she or he does okay and this person is coming into your present this January to transform your situation, having to have a butterfly here. This, gonna, this person is going to talk to you, talk about career, talking about finding job. This person is going to give you the advice that you needed or this person is going to talk about something regarding job. And this opportunity is going to open you up for a lot of transformation because I see tons of butterfly. If you could see it, tons of butterfly that's kind of lingering right at the queen's throne. 
but there is this one butterfly that stands up and that is the one in the sword this is the one that's really it's an idea that's really gonna transform your situation to a better one and the reason why i say better one because i see the chariots and the six of ones in here that is victory and you're gonna move forward with that whatever this person's telling you is gonna help you to move forward in your life that's gonna make you successful that is the karma and the blessings that you're gonna be receiving this january maybe this person is saying you gotta work through your fear okay you cannot be afraid maybe you're fearing disappointment you're fearing a rejection you can't this person is talking you out of that this person is probably also telling what to what do you need to release maybe you're holding on to some negative energy that's dragging you more down on the like more than six feet or maybe now it's feet six now it's 10 feet under you know and you can't do anything anymore so it's dragging you more it's pulling you more down to the deepest part of the earth exaggeration again ask yourself what is it holding you to become successful what is it is it the fear then if it's the fear then you have to release it maybe there's more because there's a lot of you maybe ask yourself what's holding me down in that's holding me from finding my job why am i giving up on this why am i losing hope with this why ask yourself you'd be surprised you're gonna find your answer coming from you too this person is so smart is really gonna change your perspective and that and changing your, your perspective is a way to move forward. It's, it's the actual key to be moving forward and be successful. Yes, you might not find a job this year, this month, I mean this January, but it seems like it's leading you to that direction. Now, let's read it the other way. If you hear a sound, that's my dog whining again, scratching. Brewster! Sorry, I forgot to have the microphone right on my chest. So now, let's see, it's the other way. Ah, there's a fly fly. I tried to kill this fly. Never forget it. Sorry, I'm just mumbling here. So now, here you are. You're feeling crappy, okay? This is the second energy. Feeling crappy feeling not energized losing hope no ideas how to move forward with this you know finding job finding stability finding security right and you're fearing it you're fearing that you're not gonna have you're not gonna have job at all okay so you're losing hope you're not fighting for it anymore no you're, you don't have the energy you don't have blood circulating in you in order to move forward but this january one second sorry i have to scream on my dog and tell him be quiet all right so now okay this january this energy is going to come to you the queen of sword energy this is about oh i think you're gonna realize it's a realization for you okay you're gonna start sort of like let me think really 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 think about this instead of just you know just blah 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 about life let me really think about it you're gonna have the energy it's like the need to really process and think in a very grounded mind that's mindset so what do i need to focus Look at the queen she's focusing on the sword with the butterfly meaning change right so i need to focus and i think i need change okay what do i need to change then you ask yourself again so well 
through that process of thinking you ask what do i need to release and let go maybe i'm doing something that is not right that's why i don't have a job okay maybe that's i need to change that so you're going to be doing some processing, analyzing, figuring things out in order to change your situation. This is about changing perspective. And through that process, you're going to realize you're going to have some sort of epiphany. Yes, there's actually a better way of doing that. There's a, actually a better way of finding job. And that is the beginning of the moving forward. And you're going to feel fabulous. You're going to feel proud of yourself that you actually finally get that blood circulating in you. You're not going to be a zombie anymore. And now you're bringing karma into your life. The good karma that you deserve. The universe is letting you know that there are people around you that are willing to help you. To release the fear and to release to release the fear and to release anything that's negative and that is no longer working for you it's no longer for your highest good and also stay in the moment okay do not worry about what happened in the past or do not even think about what's going to happen in the future just stay in the moment if your goal is to find a job stay in that goal do not be the distract distracted Let's go jump to the life reading. What's coming your way? You have the Three of Swords. Responding to that, you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Influencing factors, you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. It's coming again up there. Ten of Wands in reverse. The star, the hierophant, the ten of pentacles, ten and ten. And advice and guidance from the universe and the divine, you have the mending. Five, 52, plus, five plus two, seven, spiritual number. Higher power, number four, stability and security nothing is yet set in stone and you and your loved ones are safe seeing the three of swords in here the hierophant the knight of cups in reverse and uh yeah okay this could be multiple things it could be relationship it could be personal issue it could be financial okay so let's talk about if it's a relationship let's talk about relationship and then we'll discuss the other stuff later so you're sad scorpio having the knight of cups in reverse reverse you're not inspired you're emotionally down you're not taking action you're not moving forward yeah there's a lack of balance in your relationship you're you're in a downer energy when it comes to love and you and because you're heartbroken something happened okay maybe some of you you broke up with your person or a person broke up with you or there is this energies of maybe separation if you are married or you know if you're married You stuck on that emotional pain. 
and you're wishing for it to go away and you're praying and believing in the higher power and the, from and the divine to help you go through this pain to have the divine to lift the burdens of you because once you you were happy with this person probably this person is somebody that you live with for quite a while but there is something here that is this is temporary nothing is yet set in stone this is temporary situation that you have to go through i'm not saying that this person is going to come back to you maybe some of them they're going to come back and some of them they're not coming back but whatever feelings and emotion that you are having with this regarding this situation or regarding this person is temporary maybe for some of you you're going to mend that situation because i have the mending here and i have the eight of cups and it's in reverse maybe somebody's coming back after a while but you try to listen to, into your intuition you try to be you have to you're trying to listen to what god is trying to tell you what do you need to feel and to see about this what do i need to learn what do i need to do how do i need it how do i deal with this pain so the divine steps in this is archangel azriel not ariel azriel and archangel azriel is angel to bring comfort into any pain emotional pain that you're going through as you can see your heart is not bleeding your heart is not broken it's not cracked in half and the three swords are behind you and there's no blood it feels like you already wash away that blood and what you're doing here is that yes you might have some sadness within you but archangel azriel is helping you to go through it the archangel azriel is comforting you strengthening your faith strengthening your 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 soul and to go through these challenges it's a beautiful energy because you feel supported you feel guided and you feel protected and that is the higher power The higher power is around you and watching over you to go through it because the higher fun is here too you wish for pain to go away or you wish for comfort to come in and the wish is coming through azrael came by to rescue you to lift the burden of you and to help you to someday bring back that stability in your life Archangel Azrael is here to help you mend your broken heart. Some of you, you're wishing for your person to come back. To get back to you, to go back to where you were then. But this is just a wish. enough for the other energies i feel like if you are disappointed at work it feels that you're stuck at work and you're not happy at work because the higher fund can be a representative of an agency which is a work stuff you feel unhappy with your work you feel burdened yes it pays you good money but you're not happy with what you're you're not happy in general at work i don't know what that is but you're not happy at work maybe 
it's an in and out of stress because not it says it looks look at the ocean it's it's all wavy but this is temporary yeah it's temporary but it appears to be i feel that it's been on on and off on and off at work what you're wishing is to get out of this burdening energy to get out of feeling stuck with this emotional dissatisfaction and still keep the abundance so deep inside you are not happy of what's going on with work but you're trying to comfort yourself with it you're trying to gain some wisdom from the divine to assist you and help you to deal with this and move forward or help you to decide to what actually you need to do maybe you're worried because maybe it's gonna affect the security of your family stability of your family because you love your family so much that you don't want to leave this job because it pays you good but you're not happy but you're worried that if you leave this job it's gonna affect the income that you're giving or you're bringing into your family to your family situation to your whatever that situation may be kids you know wife husband so you're torn but again because of the higher power because of your faith you're gonna get through it the pain is not gonna be as bad because you have some support a divine support now if it's not the job it's about a spirituality you feel broken inside you feel like you can get out of it you can't walk out of this this dissatisfying energy when it comes to your emotions maybe there's a lot of things that's burdening you maybe you wish it to have money maybe you don't have enough money and it's burdening you maybe you have to do multiple jobs just to meet to met to have ends meet is that is that right <laughs> Yeah, you've been wish you wish to have the money, you wish to have stability and security, you wish to have your burdens out of your shoulder, you want job. And this is something that you've been going through, but like what I said, the universe is saying this is temporary. You're not going to be stuck on this 8 of swords, 8 of cups uh, in reverse energy. The universe and the divine is going to help you to mend this. It's going to help you to mend this. They are here to help you. January may not be a day. It may not be the month for you to fully be out of this emotional sadness and dissatisfactions or a downer energy. But the, the divine energy is, is kind of infusing themselves or entering into your life to assist you and help you because they they know that you've been believing in them and you've been asking for help so they are gonna come to help you they're gonna heal you they're gonna make they're gonna make uh, they're gonna heal you they're gonna give you hope they're gonna make your wish come true from you know for whatever that is supposed to be. maybe if you don't have a job they're gonna make they're gonna give you the nicer job maybe you might not be happy with the job that you have right now because just for some reason is give you money maybe the divine is gonna in intervene and say you know what leave the job and i'm gonna give you a new job that also pays the same maybe the divine is gonna walk into your life and guide you and give you hope that yes a person that you love leaves you but that is not the end of the world they're changing your thinking they're changing your emotions and to start to have faith however this fits into your story the most the most important thing yes you might be sad you might be disappointed you might not be inspired but the divine is here to assist you and mend your broken heart yeah 
All right, that's a good one. I have the divine, the divine got my back. The divine has your back, Scorpio. So for the transformation, the eight of cups in reverse, the queen of swords and the three of swords in here. I do feel that there's going to be changes happening in your life this January, which is the beginning of something big. This transformation is going to pull you out of the unhappy situation that you're in. Because probably it's either you don't want to leave that situation or you're hesitant to to leave the situation because it's going to break your heart. But the divine is going to intercede, is going to intervene and help you to get out of that because you deserve better. And the divine is going to help you think straight. Maggie, hug someone today. Okay, hug someone today, Scorpio. You can hug your doggy if you don't have anybody next to you. Or if you don't have a dog, hug your cat. If you don't have anybody at this present moment in time, you could do it tomorrow. Or if you don't feel like doing tomorrow, hug your pillow. How about that? Or you can hug me. Mm. All right. So the next one, Piper and the, God, Piper and the Ghosties. Ooh, cute. Stand up for what you believe in and never let others steal your joy. Again, stand up for what you believe in and never let others steal your joy. Take action. January is the month for you to take action, Scorpio. On things that needs to be taken action. Stay positive. A little bit more time needed maybe you have to sit on the paint for a little bit a little bit maybe maybe not change is needed I'm gonna put it here change is needed transformation this will pass okay this will pass so these are the blessing, tangible blessings that you're going to be receiving for the month of January 2022. Tangible is something that you could really feel, see, and really know is there. Self-awareness. Yes, this is what I feel like you're going to be going through. You're going to be aware of everything and anything in your presence because now the divine is entering your life to change what needs to change. Answers. If you have not really received any answers or clarity from something, then this month you're gonna get a divine assistance Ooh, divine assistance to get the answer that you needed but like what i said didn't i just say the divine is entering into your life to assist you in changing the things that needs to be changed because you deserve more beautiful justice wow this is not just this is what i'm talking about the divine is coming to give you the justice to give you the balance that you well deserve, the good karma that you deserve. End of a tough cycle. Beautiful. Okay. So let's let's jump into the second portion of this reading. This is about what's coming to you for the year 2022. All right. Sorry if my candles are out. Okay. Sorry. But I'm almost done. Almost done. So let's go find out what's coming to you this 2022 angels it's my spirit team what are coming to my scorpio collectives and scorpio out there for this year 2022 that's coming what's coming to them what energy that's going to enter their life please what energy is that's going to enter their life four of fire beautiful this is about security balance integrity fairness happy home happy life four of five four of wands okay that's beautiful and maybe with the four of wands some of you might end up getting married because that could also be a marriage card or maybe you're gonna buy a home huh all right, what else that my Scorpio need to know for the year 2022? What's coming to them, please? Burden. 
ten of fire burden so you know life is life you know it's not going to be happy jolly throughout the year there's going to be a time this year that you have to go through again burden and there's going to be and there's going to be a lot of things happening that maybe you have to juggle that you have to carry all of that that is going to be happening okay you have to juggle with a lot of things that's going to burden you what else remember i'm the type of breather that i will be true and i will tell you what the universe wants to tell you bad or good okay it's just the fact of life there's no freaking 100% that all year long is everything is going to be beautiful. Come on. That is not real. Okay. And if you have that moment in, that you probably get lucky about having all these wonderful things in your life throughout the whole year. Hey. I salute you. You're one in a million. All right, what else? That's coming for my Scorpio for the year 2022, please. Okay. All right, two. You have the... Let's talk about the nine of earth. Beautiful. You're going to be standing on your ground this year of 2022. You're going to be building up yourself. And this time, you're going to be whole within yourself. You can stand on yourself. You don't have to depend on anyone for emotional support, for happiness, for financial support. You're going to be able to stand on yourself. You're not going to be a millionaire. Yeah, may not be. But you can handle yourself. You can take care of your life. And you're going to be recognizing that. And you're going to appreciate yourself. You're going to be so proud of yourself. nine of air nine and nine okay it's an end of a cycle again end of a cycle this is nine of air okay yes there's gonna be some mental anguish some mental stress or maybe overthinking this year again on and off but you're gonna be able to get out of that because this card this tarot card has a different depiction for the nine of air this nine of air is not stressing her out. She's not leaning. She's not. Her hand is not on her head. Nighttime with all the swords against the wall, feeling sorry for herself, feeling stressful. This lady is all her. Her wings are all spread out, and she's smiling, and she's happy, and she's not feel bound with this mental torture. No, you can get yourself out of that. Okay, all right. Let's go jump to the next one. I'm gonna get three from this. I'm not looking. Alright. Last one. Where is it? <coughs> Sorry, I have to drink. Box. You will receive a gift. You will receive a gift. Now looking again. Needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. Beautiful. A sincere wish will be granted. See, that's what I'm talking about. You have the... You see this star here? You've been wishing about something and you're going to grant that wish. Remember, I told you the divine is working on you. They're working with you and on you last one apple temptation will test you Ooh, temptation okay as far as spirituality what else what's coming to you this year spirituality what's coming for my scorpio when it comes to spirituality What's coming from my Scorpio when it comes to spirituality? My God, you immunity, I'm hating you, okay? You've been coming into my reading. And you know, it's not, you're not easy to be um, explained, okay? Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to explain you again. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of a, you know, discussion with this immunity card. You know, the first time that it came out of my reading, oh my God, I struggle explaining it. Then I realized, 
you know what? I'm just gonna let the book explain it to me and I'm not gonna explain it in a way. I always use the flu vaccine as an example, but anyway. I'll read it to you. Immunity. The immunity card comes when we are feeling as though we are under attack. You may be experiencing disagreements or arguments. Perhaps you are feeling belittled, unworthy, or misunderstood. Whatever the case may be, there is a feeling of need to protect yourself. Sometimes these feelings may not even involve an, in, an individual person, but are perceived from the world at large. It's important you, that you stay grounded at this time and not fall into old patterns of behaviors or reactions. This is an opportunity to deal with your feelings and situation in a healthier way. You are not responsible for what others say, think, believe, or feel. You do not have to own it or try to fix or change anything in an attempt to appease them. Every person on this planet is responsible for their own behavior. The immunity card offers you a layer of protection from the negative energy surrounding the situation so that you can respond and take action in a positive manner. Positive positive manner this also helps you to see the bigger pictures and how to revolve the matter in a way that ensures the highest good for all involved just as your physical body builds its immune system energetically you are building a healthy response systems to negative experiences and people you will not be affected in the same way should this type of situation occur again in the future Okay, you will gain a healthy form of protection on the inside and no longer need to energetically wear a shell of protection on the outside. Those around you will feel the shift in your energy as you become more accepting and open to letting others into your personal world. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to explain it. I just hope you understood. And if you're not so clear, go rewind this, this uh, reading and then listen to it. What else, dear team? All right, assistance. Assistance. Didn't I say here? All right. This year is the year when you're going to be working with the divine. This is the year when you're going to be really assisted. You're not going to be feeling alone. You are protected. You are guided. You are blessed. It's a wonderful energy and also to letting you know that there are some people out there that are willing to assist you and help you. Okay, and also this is the year for you to also offer some assistance to others who need assistance. Okay, one more from this step please, one more. One more please. One more spirit that's coming for my Scorpio. Rejuvenation. Beautiful energy. Rejuvenation. You're going to be going to a lot of spa. <laughs> or you're going to be drinking a lot of smoothie. The healthy ones. Okay. Yuck. All right. Rejuvenation. This is beautiful energy to have. Okay. This is what you're going to have when it comes to your soul. Your soul is going to be rejuvenated. There's going to be some changes happening to your life that is going to um, detoxify your soul. And once your soul gets detoxified, you're going to be rejuvenated. This is about lifting the weight of your soul, of your energy, releasing the negative energy and kicking all those past histories and memories and people that is no longer matching your energies. And that would help you to vibe, to to rejuvenate, to be um, happy and peaceful, you know. So for this, from this deck, this is going to be about surrendering. What are the things that my Scorpio needs to surrender for the year 2022? Well, that's a kick. Okay. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. 
it doesn't matter it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or her own healing this is really really good for people who's trying to fix their boyfriend their girlfriend their husband their wife you know what in this world we have the will and if they really want to change they can change you don't have to push them you don't have to to really force yourself to fix that because no matter how much you really want them to change you've done everything you can you've given all your energy to this person or to this situation especially to the person if they are resistant to change then you cannot change them you're just going to be frustrated so again the universe is saying surrender the idea you can fix someone surrender stubbornness if you're test tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding this will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself surrender stubbornness and for sure you know the word stubbornness right we all know that word one more please All right. Last one from this deck: surrender to lady. Uh, surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationship. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. You see that no is a complete sentence. Okay. sorry about that i have to do my coffin at first sure you don't want to hear me coughing <coughs> so <sighs> oh <laughs> i took a deep breath and i blow it and look the candle turned off sorry <laughs> surrender to see it setting limits okay if your person or someone your friend or another person ask you to do something for them but you don't think it's for your highest good you don't think that you're happy to do it for them you feel like you're being obligated to do something well you know what it's about time to say no <coughs> and what it says here no is a complete sentence okay you got to learn to set boundaries these are things that you need to do okay this here one more okay one more they said one more please <clears throat> all right last one from this deck okay surrender to rest and sleep all right get some more rest get some more sleep this year all right now let's go to the love relationship <clears throat> romance what is it for my score what's coming for my score this year when it comes to romance love relationship romance or love relationship <clears throat> getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other you bond deepens for you single ones um you might probably be meeting somebody this year and and you're gonna get to know each other okay you probably gonna st start as a friend first and if you're dating someone maybe this is saying that you that there's gonna be time for you both to to get to know each other and make your make it make your bond deepens it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all for the one who's fearing to be in a relationship the single once again don't be afraid to show your love it is safe for you to love and if somehow the other person is not re reciprocating with that uh, love that you have for them that's their loss yes it's gonna hurt you but don't close your heart okay and for the one with a partner or in a relationship or married express your love to your person it's okay <coughs> true love wow 
true love is gonna come for you this year my single my single scorpio right that's really good true love is gonna come for you this is the romance of a lifetime what else okay that's it <clears throat> worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so for the single ones again it seems like it's targeting most of the single ones okay uh divine timing divine timing and it's worth waiting for okay wait be patient forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so if somebody have hurt you, uh, let's say you're, for people that are married and in relationship, if they have hurt you, forgive them. Learn from that situation. Okay? Do not be hard on them. Forgive them. And if somehow for the single ones you dated an asshole or a dickhead, oh sorry for those words, sorry. If you meet somebody who's really not pleasant at all, still forgive them don't harbor those anger and frustration or disappointments or pain don't don't harbor it just let it go just don't date them anymore <laughs> okay so let's go to the next one what else does my scorpion need to know for the year 2022 please what else indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of life you're going to be going through decision making this year all right scorpio and maybe you might be hitting a crossroad with that but again the universe is saying to use your intuition to use your intuition in any decision that you might feel stumped use your intuition <clears throat> health i will honor the physical vessel that enshrine my soul this is the year where you're going to think about health. Maybe you're going to go back to the gym and start exercising. Maybe you're going to eat healthy. Maybe you're going to get more rest. But this is the year where you're going to think about your health. Because you're going to realize you have to give importance to yourself. And also for the ones that are sick, who, who's going through some sickness, this year is going to be a better year for you. Okay? balance nice i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment balance is going to be present and coming your way scorpio this 2022 what else wow it seems like you have a lot all right hold on regret i know that i cannot change the past you're gonna go through some regrets you might go to you might go to the memory lane and think about what are the things that you sh that you're going to be that you're going to realize that you're re uh, you're regretting okay when you are being guided by the divine to a transformation there's going to be ups and downs with that because the divine purpose is to really dig inside you to really go within and repair what needs to repair so if there is a seating energy of regret or pain inside you that you've been avoiding then it's gonna come in in the surface and then it needs to be dealt with imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind this year there's gonna be some uh creative endeavor that you're going to be going for or you're going to be um yeah going for or going through and it's going to use your imagination and this could be a lot of things it could be a project it could be expansion of maybe a house um maybe you want to expand your house you want to make it bigger you want to add an extension or maybe you have a you want to you you've written a book for example a novel right and you want to do the part two of that something like that but it's got to do with, with creativity and imagination okay and the last one but not the least message from 
the angels what are the things that the angels want you to know for the year 2022 what are the things that the angels want you to know for the year 2022 ask for help from others all right if you're needing help ask people the one, of course ask the one that you trust what else that my scorpio needs to know peaceful resolution beautiful compromise there's going to be a situation that there is a need for you to compromise and this is usually happen and and also having the weighing scale here this is about balance this is about justice bringing justice and bringing balance into your life the angels are saying you got to learn how to compromise but aside from that make sure that the balance and it's fair for you when you compromise you just don't compromise because your person uh, for example you have a husband you're a boyfriend or whatever i like relationship as an example let's say they want you to uh you want to buy a car you have already a few cars at home you want to buy a car but saying a well you know what honey we have to buy another one because the other one is this and this and that it's broken it's old or whatever right that right but at that point in time your finance is not at its best okay you're not gonna say yes because you don't want your husband or your boyfriend or your wife to get mad at you so you're just gonna go for it even though you think it's not fair it's not right so this is about yes you can compromise but make sure there is balance and fairness when you compromise yeah one more okay one more you're ready okay you're ready for change you're ready for transformation you're ready for you're ready don't fear change change is beautiful and i can guarantee you change is gonna make your life way way better than wh wh what you have right now okay this is your reading my dear scorpio and i think i'm running out of candles now Again, okay, thank you so much. Happy New Year. And I'm sending you lots and lots and lots of love, light, and a lot of hug from me. All right. Bye-bye.